Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I thought I was excited when I filmed my first pumpkin video of Trader Joe's for this fall. This video, I swear, is going to be even better. I was literally skipping through Trader Joe's. I was so excited. I'll have Alex insert the clip of me dancing around. There's just so many items, and they are so fun, and I cannot wait to show you all of the autumnal items that have come in this time. So much good stuff. I am not showing any of the same items I got in the last Trader Joe's haul. These are all different pumpkin items from my part one video. So these are entirely new and I cannot wait to show you. Let's go ahead and dive into it because there is a lot of stuff to cover today and I'm so excited. All right, starting off, we got the fall leaf corn tortilla chips. These are super cute because they are different colors, they are different shapes, and they look like little fall leaves. I've used these before for like potlucks when we've gone over and watched football with friends in fall and doing this in like a salsa or something. Super cute, very adorable. They taste like normal tortilla chips, but they're just like very fun. I also got the Ghosts and Bats Crispy Potato Snacks. These I'm pretty sure are just like a Pringle. I don't know. These are like a chip, but they're little ghosts and bats. So these are so cute. If I had a little kiddo, I think these would be like so cute to put in little baggies for their school lunches and make it themed. But I think I'm just gonna be that like crazy mom one day. One of my favorite fall items. This one is a staple. They had it last year and brought it back and I'm so glad. And it is the maple and sea salt kettle corn. I love this. It's like kettle corn. I feel like it's a little bit extra salty and the maple just makes it feel less processed. I don't even know if that's right, but it's such a delicious flavor. I absolutely love this. I love maple flavored things. It's one of the fall flavors that really speaks to me. So if you are a maple gal like me, I highly, highly, highly recommend grabbing this. I almost got two bags. I held back and I only got one. Another fall item I grab every year and that is the cinnamon whisks. So they have little ones like this, this size, it's like a tiny little broom that smells like cinnamon. They also have full broom sized ones. We live in a one bedroom apartment. The full size one would honestly make our place smell way too crazy for me. It'd be too strong, but I love the small little broom. People put these in their cars and I, people get the small ones and put them in studio apartments and they're fine with it. I think it'd just be too heavy of a scent for me, but I do love getting one of these every year and hanging this in my apartment and just makes everything smell very cinnamony and puts you in a fall mood. I love fall so freaking much. Oh, this is the only fall item from my last haul that I got again because I'm already running out of it and it's my favorite. And that is the Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. This is one of my favorite, favorite teas that Trader Joe's has and I've been flying through it. So I wanted to get another box because I do not want to run out yet. This I believe is a new item and I'm so excited to try it. These are the pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels. They are really small. They're covered in a yogurt flavored coating with crushed pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. I'm going to try one of these right now, but they look super tasty. Oh, they're so little. They're so cute. So it's just that big. It's very small and very cute looking. Mmm. Wow. Oh, I love that. Those are delicious. They're not too sweet. They're definitely sweet, but it's not too much. I feel like three of these after dinner would be like a perfect little sweet snack to end the night. These are really tasty. Mmm, I'm impressed. Another one of my items that I got, and one of my followers has been DMing me nonstop telling me when this is coming in and that I have to grab it, and I'm so excited. These are the cornbread crisps, a sweet and salty cornbread snack. These are delicious. If you haven't tried these before, I highly recommend trying these too. These, I also love to put them with chili and I'll crunch them up over chili or I'll scoop chili out with them. But you can use these for so many different things. It is super tasty. Next item I got, and I haven't tried these yet either. These are the pumpkin spiced espresso beans. I am really excited to try these. I love the dark chocolate covered espresso beans. I normally don't buy them because I'll eat the entire bag far too quickly. But they had pumpkin spiced ones and I just had to try them. So let's give these a little taste test as well. Alex, you want one? So they just look like that. They are tiny little espresso beans, a chocolate covered espresso bean with a pumpkin spice blend. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, those are really good. Quite a ride of flavors. Yeah, first it's like coffee, then it goes chocolate, then you get smacked in the face with some pumpkin. It's good. I like it. They're definitely quite sweet too. You guys know this. I don't have a huge sweet tooth, so I could only do like one or two of these, but they are good. You want to try one? Yeah, I'm going to go on this flavor ride. You ready for a flavor ride? The flavor train is taking off soon. Choo, choo, choo. Yeah, those are really good. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't, like that. couldn't eat a ton of them at a time, but I like them. Next item, this one is new as well. And this is the, I might be saying this wrong, the Pomander Room Spritz with orange, mandarin, cinnamon, and cloves. So this is like a room spray and it's supposed to smell very holiday esque. I'm really excited for this one. I've heard it's really, really good. So let's give it a spritz. Oh, that smells really nice, actually. It's much more orangey and less heavy, spicy than I thought it'd be. I really like that. 
that's really nice. I'm, I'm happy I got this one. My next item is a pup friendly item that I'm so excited about. These are the pumpkin maple bacon stuffies dog treats. Lulu is very excited. He has his autumnal bow tie collar. Show off your collar. Can you see it? He's a very handsome autumnal boy right now. And we got him some dog treats. <gasps> are these for you? What is it? Is it for you? He's like, give it to me. Can I have your paw? Thank you. Can I have your paw again? Thank you so much. He like can't chew it. Yeah, he wants to go like hide and eat it. Yep, he is now under my desk. He's licking it. I think he likes it. But these were just so cute. I had to get these for him. And, oh, he's eating it. He likes it for sure. I can't give him this right now as well because he's just a very small boy and one treat is enough. But I also got him the pumpkin recipe dog treats. These I know are pretty big and Louis is so small. I think I'll probably have to break them in half for him. But they're so cute. I had to get them. Oh my God, they're huge. These are for a big dog. Look at the size of this treat. This is like Louie's whole dinner. That thing is massive, can you tell? It's very large, it's very cute, but we will be breaking these up for him. He cannot have a whole one, that is huge for him, but they are super, super cute. All right, and really quick, cause you gotta make that money, honey. I have a sponsor for today's video. So I wanted to give a shout out to Teddy Blake. If you guys have seen me with like literally any purse ever, I am just about always wearing Teddy Blake bag. This one is my favorite. This is like a Prada dupe. One of my friends who works at Prada literally thought it was the Prada bag. I absolutely love this. I use this for my work bag. It fits my laptop. It fits everything. And so I constantly am toting this thing all around the city. So they are doing a sale right now for New York Day sale. And some of their bags are up to 70% off. So I'm going to include all of the information in the description box. But if you are looking for a bag, this one's amazing. I also have my like Teddy Blake backpack that I use all the time. Where's my third one? I have all, all of my bags are Teddy Blake bags. And I have this one too. And these are the only three bags I ever use. So thought I'd show those off to you guys, let you know they are are running a sale right now. All of the information is in the description box. All right, moving on with Trader Joe's. Next item I got was the maple flavored almonds. These were really a spur of the moment. I'm honestly not a huge nut gal. I don't really love to eat a bunch of nuts, but they looked really tasty. They're maple flavored. I wanted to try them, so I did grab these this year. These might be a good thing for me to like put into little containers and take on the go with me to just have a quick snack sometimes, but got those. One of my favorite items that I am so excited is back. This is the autumn maple coffee. I love this coffee so much. I love the pumpkin spice coffee that I showed in last week's haul, don't get me wrong. But this coffee is one of my favorite holiday coffees. I love the Christmas coffees a lot too though. But this one is so good, I highly recommend. So I got two bags of the maple autumn coffee. This one is absolutely delicious. If you have not tried this, highly, highly, highly recommend. Grab yourself a bag and give it a try. It's much milder than the pumpkin spice. Like it doesn't have that spicy flavor, the very nutmeg cinnamony flavor flavor that that one has. This one's much milder and it's just so cozy and delicious. It tastes like you're sitting in a cashmere sweater. Next up, this is the riced cauliflower and butternut squash risotto. This is also a seasonal item. They only have it in, in the fall and this is so delicious. And it's mainly riced cauliflower, butternut squash, carrots, a little bit of cream, butter, milk, but really it is all veggies. It's so good. It's a really, really easy thing to throw into a pan and then just add some chicken sausages or something to it. If you want, you could eat it on its own. It's very very, very delicious. I love the riced cauliflower risotto, so I highly recommend trying this one. Next up, I got another container of the pumpkin butternut squash bisque. So last week I got the one that came in a jar. That's a shelf staple. This one comes in the refrigerated section. I have not tried this one before, but I think I'll probably have it for lunch at some point this week, but I think this will be super tasty as well. I love a good pumpkin butternut squash bisque. My mom used to give it to me when I was a kid and to take to school. And like, you look like a pretty weird kid eating something that looks like this coming out of a thermos, but hey, it's delicious. All right, I am absolutely thrilled to try this one as well. This is new this year and it is the pumpkin oat beverage. If you watched my last pumpkin haul, you would have seen I bought two of the maple oat beverage because that is also a seasonal item, but I have not tried the pumpkin oat beverage. I'm gonna try this right now. I'm hoping it's very good. I would love to be able to put this in my coffee. I'm a little nervous. I don't really know why. We're gonna put it in a shot glass. Smells good. Mmm. Mm. It's not my favorite. I will drink it. It's fine. I'll try and put it in my coffee and see if that makes a difference. My gripe is it's quite perfumey. It tastes like a smell, if that makes sense. It doesn't really taste much of pumpkin. It 
tastes like flowery almost like a flower like a smelling flower very perfumey somebody else who's tried this comment down below and let me know what you think because i'm not picking up pumpkin in this one. Oh my god i have so much stuff all right next this is a brand new item it is not pumpkin but it is brand brand new and just hit my store today so i'm excited to try it this is the cheesy seasoning blend it's like a powder that you could sprinkle onto things add some cheesiness to popcorn vegetables and pastas you don't need to pull out the cheese in the grater use a sprinkling of the cheesy blend instead the ingredients are dried cheddar cheese blend sea salt garlic salt onion powder dried rosemary and dried oregano it sounds really good i think it'd be delicious on popcorn so i'm excited to try this a little apprehensive about it but i'm excited next one this is a wild ride and i don't know how i feel about it but this is the pumpkin spiced hummus i've heard this is very similar to the chocolate hummus in that it's like a sweet hummus not a savory one i'm just gonna try this with my finger you know, that's actually really good. Took me on another flavor ride for a second. Wasn't sure how I felt. I like it. It's not too sweet. The flavor is actually quite mild and delicious. I actually really like this. I'm not sure how I'd eat it is the only thing. It's really tasty, but like, what do I eat this with? Does anybody have any ideas? Like, I don't feel like it'd be good on fruit. I don't really know what to put it on. A cracker seems too savory. Someone tossed some ideas out at me, but flavor wise, it tastes really good. Next, I'm also really excited to try this. I talked about this in the last haul, but my store was out and that is the non-fat Greek yogurt pumpkin flavor. I'm gonna have this for breakfast at some point this week. Honestly, don't know how I feel about pumpkin flavored yogurt, but we're gonna give her a shot. Another brand new item to hit the store. This is hail and cauliflower chili with navy beans. This sounds delicious. And I have so many cornbready items. I was like, I have to give this one a try. I really love chili. I love cauliflower. I love kale. These are all things I enjoy. So I'm excited to try this one out. I think we'll probably have this for dinner at some point this week. I got Alex a thing of the pepita salsa. The girl who was the cash register said that this was really delicious. I think I've tried this before and it wasn't my favorite salsa, but with the fall shaped leaf chips, I thought this would be just so cute to have. So we got this one as well. Alex loves chips and salsa. That's super, super easy. Random produce item that I wanted to show you guys that I got this week is they have the delicata squash in. It's priced per item. And I went to pick up one of them and the two were connected. So I got two for the price of one essentially. But I love a delicata squash. I love putting them in the oven and roasting them and eating them with veggies and then like some sort of protein. It's just so delicious and easy. So very excited to have this. They have all of the squash back in. I just picked up this one because there's a ton of different squash variations. This is a new item. This is not fall themed, but it's a new item that I'm very, very excited for. And this is chili sesame oil. It has tons of chili flakes down on the bottom. The sesame oil looks amazing. You can mix it up and see all of that chili coming through. It looks so good. I love a chili sesame oil. It's one of my favorite things to add to Asian foods in general. Sesame oil, delicious. Add chili, even better. So the fact that Trader Joe's now has it, I cannot wait to try this because I usually go to the Asian grocery store to get it and I'm gonna see how this one compares. And the last fall item I got this week that I'm very excited to try, I have not tried this one before either, is the pumpkin Alfredo sauce. I've heard really good things. It's supposed to be very much like a traditional Alfredo sauce, but add the hardiness of a pumpkin. I'm not really sure, but I got this. I'm going to put this over some gluten-free pasta, add some chicken sausage to it. I think it'll be really delicious. So I am very, very excited to give this one a shot this year as well. That is everything. It was a lot of pumpkin items. My house is overran with pumpkin items at this point. <laughs> I'm almost like keeping my fingers crossed that Trader Joe's doesn't come out with anything else because I have so much pumpkin at this point. It's getting a little ridiculous, but I hope you liked this. If you have any questions about any of the items, please comment down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that big red subscribe button. I post three videos a week and I would love for you to follow along. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.